Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for our radio audience tuning in at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all could be with us. Also, tuning in to our friend at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. I'm so excited to welcome Jim Cook to our program today. Jim is the founder and brewer of Samuel Adams. I know you guys have heard about that, especially here in the South. He's also the national best-selling author of Quench Your Own Thirst, Business Lessons Learned Over a beer or two. We're going to talk to Jim not only about what's happening right now with Samuel Adams, but also what it's been like for him to see the success, uh, how the brewing process has evolved, and where you guys can go for more information. Jim, thank you again for the time. Really glad to have you on the program today. Well, it's a pleasure being with you. Is it all right if I uh, have a beer? Of course, of course, always, always. So, Jim, I want to talk to you about, uh, about of course, the, what has happened with Samuel Adams, but I thought there was an interesting quote in your book, Quench Your Own Thirst, I wanted to share with our audience. He said in the, in the book, the company I founded in 1984, uh, the Boston Beer Company, gave me both pleasure and purpose beyond my wildest dreams. I wanted to ask you about that. What has it been like for you to see the way that this has not only brought you uh, pleasure and purpose, but also now, of course, a customer around the world? I mean, to me, it's been a dream come true. You know, you got to understand, I, I started this in my kitchen. Um, I had been a home brewer, and I'm a sixth-generation brewer. My dad was a professional brewmaster. And when I started Sam Adams, America was a beer wasteland. You know, American beer was the laughing stock of the world. But I knew, because of my family's history, that there was a time when Americans made rich flavorful beer. It had just kind of been watered down over the years. And when I started, you know, everybody in the United States, if they wanted a good beer, they couldn't get a good American beer. They had to drink imports. And I wanted to change that. I wanted to change the way Americans and ultimately the rest of the world thinks about American beer. I believe that an American brewer could make great, great beer. So I took my great-great-grandfather's recipe. I started making Samuel Adams in my kitchen. Um, Long story short, you know, it got picked as the best beer in America for four years running. It helped start the whole craft beer revolution. And today, America has 10,000 breweries. And today, the best beers in the world are made here in the United States and the best place in the world to be a beer drinker is in America. Uh, so I got to change uh, something that mattered a lot to me, which is the beer landscape in our country. We have such a great country, and we have so many great, great things. And today, we have great beer, and American craft brewers are the envy of the world. Yeah, such a great point, Jim. What led, though, I mean, with all the success, what led the Boston Beer Company to to remaster the classic Boston lager recipe, Jim? You know, that's a really good question, Cyrus, and it's fairly straightforward. Um, you know, for 38 years, I've been pursuing perfection in Samuel Adams' Boston lager. You know, since the day I made it in my kitchen and fell in love with it, I realized, you know, I could always you – know, refine it, make it a little smoother, a little brighter, bring out more hop aromas. So every chance I've uh, had, uh, I've made all these slight little tweaks that make it better. And the latest one, I'm not going to get too geeky, but it's called biological acidification, and it helps bring out the smoother, easier drinking, brighter flavors from uh, the barley malt that we use, and it drops out a few of the rougher flavors to bring forward the best ones. And, you know, it's just one more tweak. This is not new Coke versus old Coke. This is like taking, you know, a song, an album that 
you fell in love with 30 years ago, and now it's been remastered, and the new version is cleaner and doesn't have any little pops in it and just jumps out of the speakers with more vibrancy in life. That's what I keep doing with Sam Adams' Boston Lager. Wow. And you've definitely done that. In fact, in your book, as I mentioned, one of the things you said, uh, talking about the advice you got from your dad, Jim, uh, you said um, that he said to you, just do me a favor, make a good beer, and don't worry about the marketing. People drink the beer. They don't drink the marketing. Don't get distracted. Just worry about the beer. Do you think it's that focus and you're always wanting to make it better for your consumers? It's one of the reasons why you've had the success that you've been able to have as well, Jim. Oh, I totally believe that. My dad gave me great advice because when I started, you know, I knew how to make beer. I knew nothing about marketing and advertising and all that stuff. And people were like, you can't go in the beer business. That's all about advertising and marketing. I said, no, I don't think so. Because at the end of the day, somebody's got to drink the beer. And all of us as beer drinkers have this, you know, almost infallible quality detector. And it's called a mouth. Because uh, all of us <laughs> know what we like. And if you make a great beer, people are going to like it and they're going to drink it. Such a great point. Jim, so glad to be able to speak with you. Again, everyone, Jim Cook has been our guest. He's a founder and brewer of Samuel Adams, talking with us not only about there, the remastering of the classic Boston lager recipe, but also the evolution he's been able to see when it comes to the beer revolution he's been a part of. You guys can find out more information about Samuel Adams by going to SamuelAdams.com. Again, at SamuelAdams.com. And, Jim, I hope you'll come back and spend some more time with us. I'd love to have another beer with you, Cyrus. Cheers. All right, you. So cheers to you as well, Jim. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Let us go make today amazing. Take care. <laughs>